thin people and perfume me. I know that uh, it's a lot of like stuff for uh, people who are in smaller sizes, a lot of like thinner, pe thinner people. Um, I don't really wear it though, so. Uh, the seagull. Isn't that their logo? Yeah. <laughs> Skinny. Cologne on, just naked, like dudes that <laughs> shirts on. Fake. Very attractive people. Corrupt. <laughs> uh, I should go lose 50 pounds. Like uh, skinny people. It's like surfer people. I associate that with rich kids. Like models almost. Pretty boys? Shirtless models. Shirtless models. <laughs>
you could have someone that's not the ideal size and someone that's not the ideal look and be an awesome worker, you know, be like really outgoing, you know, um, great personality, you know, um, great work ethic, but you're not gonna choose them or even give them the time of day because they don't fit the look. Where you could have someone who has the look and doesn't have those qualities. All Hollister employees have a specific set of requirements they must fulfill while on the job. For example, they must present themselves as naturally pretty, wearing little to no makeup. Their hair must be neat, yet natural looking. Also, they must be thin and able to wear Hollister clothing at all times. Typically, the workers tend to be tall and have a tan complexion. Definitely not. Do you support it? No. Why not? It's like degrading to people who aren't in those like categories. No. Why not? It's like really biased and it only targets like a certain group of people and excludes a lot of others. Um, I think that they should allow different people to work there and they shouldn't have that specific of requirements. Um, yeah, I mean... It's a little, I guess, biased, a little discriminatory, but, uh, you know. Because that's ridiculous. You shouldn't have to be naturally pretty or wear their clothes when they say to and, like, be skinny. Like, that's ridiculous. And I know that they have to be skinny, which is why it's like, you know, I don't go there a lot. <laughs> no. Why not? Because in society, everybody's not the same. So the fact that people have to have requirements to work at a store is ridiculous because people are like made different ways and not everybody's gonna be naturally pretty or naturally like thin and like what if people don't want to wear house clothes when they work there what if they can't like afford their clothing or like have to work there to afford other stuff when they can't buy their clothes like it's stupid